Imagine, if you will, a final examination, not for students in a classroom, but for the very essence of human knowledge itself. An exam not written in dusty textbooks or whispered in lecture halls, but encoded in the silicon mines of machines we have created. Humanity's last exam is an unprecedented, multimodal benchmark designed to test the limits of artificial intelligence against the full breadth of human knowledge. Comprising 3,000 rigorously crafted questions across disciplines such as mathematics, natural sciences, ancient languages, and more, it challenges AI systems to perform at a level no single human could achieve. The exam draws from the deepest expertise of global subject matter specialists, covering knowledge so diverse and complex that only the collective wisdom of the world's leading experts could hope to answer it fully. Passing this exam would signify that an AI has not just matched, but surpassed the combined intellectual capabilities of humanity's foremost scholars, marking a profound milestone in the evolution of artificial intelligence. Can we build something that knows as we know, that thinks, reasons, even dreams as we do? We have crafted machines that can process billions of calculations in the blink of an eye, models that can sift through oceans of data to find patterns invisible to the human eye. And yet, in the face of this so-called last exam, these models falter. They stumble over the subtleties, the ambiguities, the very fabric of human thought. For knowledge is not just facts and figures, it is context, nuance, and a deep abiding sense of wonder. As AI propels us into uncharted territories, will we lose sight of the very humanity that brought us here? Or could this be the beginning of a new chapter? one where humanity and technology grow together, expanding the horizons of what is possible? The answer lies in our hands. Let us approach this future with wisdom, compassion, and a shared commitment to ensuring that our greatest creations reflect not just the brilliance of our minds, but the depth of our hearts.